So today's been kind of a crazy day. First of all, I was getting ready for work and realized that my truck keys are locked in the garage door. So I can't get in there till after Ryan gets back and unlocks it, obviously. So I have to work this weekend because I couldn't work today. So I've decided why don't we go ahead and just make a video on how I made this day turned out. I mean, it's cold. It's like the high of 57, overcast, windy. Even Lila doesn't want to be outside. So what I did do is decide to make chicken noodles and mashed potatoes for dinner. So I have my chicken soup starter here. I already took the label and the rings off. There's some chicken bone broth and some chicken chunks. I don't know if I'm going to need those yet, but probably. Here's my bag of noodles. And then I have a couple taters here, and I'm going to get more uh, later. And let's go out for a garden. See how it looks cold, doesn't it? <laughs> it is. It's not terribly cold, but it's chilly. So, out here, my nasturtiums are getting gorgeous now, both of them. There's one over there by the holy basil and one right here, and they are just beautiful. Wish we, they would have grown like that all summer long, but they did not. <laughs> so, yeah, the okra is still doing good. Even though it's been getting chilly, it's supposed to get down in the 30s this week. I don't have too many carrots that took off, but I got some. So I'm not sure whether to go ahead and plant some more or if I'm too late for this year or what. This one's looking great. Or these. I guess they all decided to glow in a, grow in a cluster. I have one butternut squash still left on the vine, but I went ahead and ripped that part up and mowed over it. Oh, I have more okra growing and I didn't even realize it. This pod needs picked. So, the peppers are getting huge and loaded, and that's good. So I can come out this weekend and do a pretty big harvest off those. The beans are still producing. They're starting to die back a bit, though. And, yeah, I'm out here picking and <laughs> shooting a video at the same time. I really need to go grab my bucket. Still have no idea what this brassica is, but look at these beets. These are the ones that started earlier that I succession sowed, and they're pre getting pretty big. And the other ones are growing nicely. Then I got some daikons planted back here. I did plant some lettuce and kale. It looks like we got some lettuce popping up over there. And, ooh, there's some kale. There's some kale right there. So they're starting to. And then I got to harvest my Swiss chard again. Brussels sprouts are looking good. Tomatoes are starting to die back. I'll probably do one or two more harvests off them and pull them out. I really haven't been picking that much since it's been getting colder because it's taking longer for the fruits to ripen on the vine. And quite honestly, I've had it up to my ears with tomatoes. <laughs> So, I still have a freezer packed full of uh, tomatoes. I got the chest freezer, the basement, and upstairs with tomatoes. So, that part, yeah, I'm getting over that part. But that's okay. Look how nicely they've done. I grew a, quite a bit of tomatoes this year, and I'm happy with it. Even though they were late. Ooh, I guess I have two butternut squash still left on the vine. But, yeah, there's my other nasturtium, and then the holy basil is next to it. So, yes, that's my only winter squash this year. Winter. Winter. Haha, <laughs> I made it funny. Yes, it is a winter, and it is a winter squash, the butternut squash. And that one did the best for me. Um, powdery mildew obviously came, but the squash bugs didn't take it out. And so I was able to get quite a decent harvest off of two plants. So I am totally pleased with that. Obviously, I wish I would have had more squash plants winter squash in particular because then I could just store them and use them as needed but that didn't happen so not too much happening out in the garden in the fall but there is still stuff going on and I thought I would share that so yes you could still grow lettuces and kales and stuff right now if you want 
and probably get away with some brassicas too. If it gets too cold, you might want to put some frost protection over them, like some pl uh, painter's plastic, the sheeting that they lay down, or a sheet or something, um, just to protect them. But it'll be just fine, um, depending on where you live. Uh, I don't have the best uh, experience growing broccoli or cauliflower or anything like that, but Brussels sprouts, yes, I've had them grow all winter. So, I just wanted to give that tidbit out to you. And to let you know, I love you, and so does Jesus. God bless.